run Google Gemini CLI in GitHub Actions. So as you can see, I'm within my GitHub and then I have access to Google Gemini CLI. Okay, so let me show you exactly how to use it and then the things it can do. So when you come here to where we have Ask Gemini a question and then you click on it, you see that I have been able to ask it to write a full blog post about how to use AI in 2025. And then it has written the full blog post for me, the blog post article. And it is not only blog post that you can use it to do, you can use it to do so many tags in GitHub. So let me show you. So first you have to go to your GitHub dashboard. To get here, simply go to the menu and then come here to the home and then come and click on it to select it. And then over here, you will see that it will bring you right here to your dashboard and you can come and then create a repo. So to create it, simply come and put the mouse on the new and then click on it. And then after clicking on it, it's going to bring you right here to create a new repo. Okay, so over here, you have to come and then name your repo. So I'm going to name it as Gemini Test because you are going to test how to use Gemini. And then over here, where you have the description, you can leave it like that. Okay, leave it empty. And then where you have the visibility, you have the option to come and then click on the down arrow. And then you can come and then select private. But for this tutorial, I'm going to leave it at public. Okay. And then after that, simply come here, then come and click on create repo. So when you click on it, it is going to create your repo for you. Okay. So as you can see, we have successfully created our Gemini test repo. And then now we can go ahead with the tutorial. So when you come to the menu and then you come here to the home and then you click on it, you see that we have our repo added and that is the Gemini test. Okay, so let's click on it and then we can work on it. So now that we have created our repo, now we have to select the repo. Okay, so after selecting it, then we have to add our Gemini API key by simply coming here to where we have the settings and then come and click on it. So within the settings, you will see that among it, we have the one that is called the secret and the variables, okay? So simply come and then click on the down arrow and then come and then select the actions within it by clicking on it. So when you click on it, we have two forms, okay? So we have the environment secret and then we also have the repo secret. So we are going to use the repo secret. So come and then click on create or new repo secret okay so when you click on it over here you it will bring you right here and then you have to come and then name it okay so since we are going to put in our gemini api key let's name it gemini api key all caps okay just like how i have done it and then over here where we have the secret that is where we are going to put in our api key Okay, so let me show you how to get your Gemini API key. So simply go to Google and then from Google search, come and search for Google AI Studio and then hit enter. And then it's going to bring you right here. Come and click on it to take you to the official page of Google AI Studio. So as you can see, we are within the Google AI Studio. You will see from the top, you have get API key. Come and click on it. And then over here, you have the option to come and then generate your API key. It is totally free, okay? And then simply come here and then come and click on create API key. So when you click on it, you have the option to come here and then come and put the mouse within the search if you have created it before. But if you have it, it will create automatically and then come and click on Gemini API key and come and click on create API key. This is going to generate your Gemini API key for you just like this. And then come and click on copy and don't share it with anybody. It is your secret password. And then come and then paste the key right here inside the secret box. So after pasting it, the Gemini API key, simply come and then click on add secret. Okay. And then as you can see from here, we have successfully added our Gemini API key. Okay. And you can see that we have added it right now. So now that we have been able to add in our Gemini API key. The next thing is that we have to come and then select our repo and then we have to create a file. So from here, as you can see, it says that you can create a file. And then from here where it says get started by creating a new file, come and click on it. And then the file that we are going to create is readme.md. Okay, so from here where we have the file name, come and then type in readme dot md just like this one okay and then make sure that the main is selected and then over here come and then write in anything okay so i'm simply going to write this repo is for text in gemini cli 
in GitHub Actions, okay? So after writing in something, all that you have to do now is to simply come here and then come and click on Comment Changes. And then over here, just leave the comment message as create readme.md and then simply come here and then come and click on comment changes so as you can see from here we have successfully created our readme.md and then when you come here so let's go to the menu and then when you come here to the home and then you click on it you will see that we have our repo here so when you select it and then you see that we have successfully created our readme.md now we can come and then add file, okay? So that is the main reason why we created the readme. So to add file, come and click on the down arrow and then come and click on create new file. So when you click on it over here, we are going to create a file for, that is the Gemini workflow, okay? So over here, come and name it as .github slash workflows slash Gemini dot YML, okay? the exact name and then make sure that the main is selected just like this and then simply come here and then within the content come and paste in this code okay so i'm going to show you how to get this code okay so to get this code simply go to ChatGPT, okay and then from ChatGPT, simply come here to where we have the chat and then come and then put in this prompt okay the exact prompt i have pinned it at the video comment below so look at the video comment below and then come and copy it and paste then come and click on submit okay without adding anything to it and then this code is going to be generated for you so you can get it from the comments down below i have pinned it okay look down there and then copy it and then simply come and then come and click on copy after generating your codes and then come and then paste in the codes in just like this okay so after pasting in the code, all that you have to do is to simply come in and come and click on comment changes. So when you click on it, it is going to ask you to save the comment message and then come and write this, add Gemini CLI workflow, okay. Name it exactly as this, and then make sure that comment directly to the main branch is selected, okay. And then come here and then come and click on comment changes. So when you click on it, it's going to save, and then from here, it is going to create the Gemini.yml, okay? So good. Now, all that you have to do now is that you have to go to the actions and then come and click on it. And then from the actions, we see that we have our run Gemini CLI added, okay? So come and then click on it to select it. And then over here, from run Gemini CLI, we have to come and then trigger the event, okay? So to do it, simply come here to where it says workflow, come and click on the down arrow and then come and then click on run workflow. Okay, so when you click on it, it's going to bring you right here. And as you can see, run is Gemini CLI is working. Simply come and then click on it. And it's going to show the progress. And as you can see, it's in progress. Okay, so you can always see the progress by simply coming to click on run Gemini. And we have successfully added our Gemini CLI to our GitHub, okay? So as you can see, we have our Gemini CLI here. So how do you use the Gemini CLI anytime that you are within your repo? So first, come and make sure that you select the repo that you want to work with with Gemini CLI. And then after that, simply come here to where we have the GitHub slash workflow and then come and click on it to select the workflow that we added, okay? And then after that, simply come here we are going to see that we have the Gemini.yml here. Come and then click on it. And then over here, you see that we have the codes that we paste. Okay, under it, you are going to see the command that we gave to Gemini. Okay. And you have to come and then edit this anytime that you want to use Gemini. Okay, so to do that, simply come here to where we have the edit and then come and click on it to edit it. So after clicking on it, you see that you can come and then edit it, okay? So when we have the command, okay, simply come and then replace it with whatever thing that I want Gemini to do. So I'm simply going to say, write a full blog post about how to use AI in 2025, okay? And after that, simply come and then click on comment changes, and then simply come and then leave the comments messages like this, and then come and click on comments changes. So when you click on it, that is it. Over here, you can simply go to the actions again. So anytime you want to run, go to the actions and then come and then select Gemini CLI. 
and then from here we are going to see that we have to come and then trigger events okay so to do that simply come here to where you have the run workflow click on it come and click on run workflow and as you can see it is run and click on it and then you are going to see the progress okay and to get your response simply come here and then come and click on run gemini and then you are going to see that we have it at the ask gemini question so wait for it to finish and it's going to give you your response okay so as you can see i have asked it and then it has given me the response after running it and then this is exactly what i asked it has given me the full blog post okay so you can use it to do so many tags in your github so if you have any questions leave in the comment down below like the video and then see you in my next video